aspirin. It is an acetyl salicylic acid, which exerts its actions by converting to salicylic acid in the body. It's a non-competitive irreversible inhibitor of cyclooxygenase. Pharmacological actions. It's a weak analgesic, pain associated with tissue injury, inflammation, and integumentary pain, and is mediated by preventing prostaglandin-mediated nerve sensation and decreasing the pain perception at the peripheral pain receptors. It also has a central subcortical action which increases the pain threshold. It has anti-inflammatory action at high doses, decreases fever by promoting heat loss from the body, hypothalamic regulation, and decreases signs of inflammation, pain, tenderness, and swelling. Respiration is stimulated when aspirin is given at inflammatory doses, 3 to 6 grams per day or 100 milligrams per kilogram per day. The stimulation is both at central, increased sensitivity to carbon dioxide, and peripheral, increased carbon dioxide production, respiratory centers. In cases of salicylate poisoning hyperventilation, it's a significant complication, which may lead to respiratory depression and death if left untreated. Aspirin acts by inhibiting thromboxane A2 synthesis, irreversibly blocking acetylation of serine residue and inhibiting the enzyme cyclooxygenase 1. It's the only non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that can irreversibly exhibit antithrombotic efficacy. It inhibits platelet aggregation by increasing the levels of prostacyclin and increasing bleeding time. Prolonged intake of large doses can inhibit clotting factors formation, thereby increasing the risk of bleeding. Administration of high, anti-inflammatory doses produces changes in the acid-base concentration and electrolyte balance in the body fluids. In patients who are treated with 4 to 5 grams aspirin per day, following changes are evident. There will be initial hyperventilation as a compensatory mechanism due to severe bronchoconstriction, which is induced by increased synthesis of leukotrienes. Hyperventilation leads to CO2 washout, which eventually causes respiratory alkalosis, which is compensated by increased renal excretion of bicarbonate. Further administration of aspirin beyond 4 to 5 grams leads to respiratory depression, increased CO2 retention, which in turn causes respiratory acidosis. Uncompensated metabolic acidosis occurs following accumulation of CO2, along with deposition of organic metabolic acids, such as sulfuric and phosphoric acids. Further accumulation of these acids occurs due to decreased renal function because of renal arteriolar vasoconstriction. Irritation of gastric mucosa occurs following aspirin ingestion, which can lead to nausea and vomiting in high doses. Gastric toxicity occurs following ion trapping in the gastric mucosal cell. It may cause acute ulcers, erosive gastritis, congestion, and microscopic hemorrhages, occult blood loss, hemodiamesis. Absorption and excretion. Rapid absorption of aspirin occurs following oral administration. However, it has poor water solubility. Hence, it is combined with an alkali which enhances its absorption. It undergoes deacetylation in the intestine, liver, and plasma to release active salicylic acid. The plasma half-life of aspirin is 15 to 20 minutes and that of salicylic acid is 3 to 5 hours. They both undergo conjugation in the liver with glycine, majorly to form salicylic acid, and also with glucuronic acid. The metabolites in free active forms are excreted in the urine, and alkalinization of urine increases aspirin excretion. Uses and side effects. Uses. It is used as an analgesic and antipyretic. In cases of acute rheumatic fever, it's used for symptomatic relief at a dose of 4 to 5 grams, or 75 to 100 milligrams per kilogram per day to obtain a serum salicylate concentration of 15 to 30 mg per deciliter. After one week or after symptom relief, the dose is tapered with maintenance doses of 50 mg per kilogram per day given over two to three weeks and gradually stopped. It's also used for some cases of rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and gout, and as an inhibitor of platelet aggregation. Inhibition of platelet aggregation lowers the incidence of reinfarction in patients with postmyocardial infarction. Low doses at 60 to 100 mg per day significantly reduce the incidence of myocardial infarction. It also decreases the chances of transient ischemic attacks, 
hence decreasing the incidence of cerebral stroke. It's the treatment of choice in niacin-induced flushing. Its use in children is limited, due to Ray syndrome, to the treatment of Kowalski disease, treating vesiculitis and preventing aneurysm formation. As a topical application, it's used for the treatment of acne, dermatitis, corns, and calluses. Side effects. Most common side effects caused by aspirin are nausea, vomiting, gastric mucosal irritation, and damage leading to epigastric pain, ulceration, and microscopic hemorrhages. At high doses, 3 to 5 grams per day, it can cause salicylism, which may produce dizziness, vertigo, tinnitus, reversible hearing impairment, and vision loss, hyperventilation leading to excitement and mental confusion, and electrolyte imbalance. It may also be associated with hypersensitivity in some patients. Irreversible acetylation of cyclooxygenase in platelets decreases the thromboxane A2 synthesis, resulting in prolongation of bleeding time and risk of bleeding increases. When used for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, especially in children, it may cause liver dysfunction, elevation of liver transaminases, Ray syndrome, a rare form of hepatic encephalopathy, fulminating hepatitis with cerebral edema, can also occur. Acute salicylate poisoning is known to occur in children. Serious complications occur when serum concentration is greater than 50 mg per deciliter. It manifests as gastrointestinal disturbances, vomiting, dehydration leading to electrolyte imbalance, hyperhypoglycemia, acidotic breathing, hemorrhages, central nervous system manifestation of restlessness, delirium, hallucinations, hyperpyrexia, convulsions, respiratory failure, and cardiovascular collapse. In adults, doses of 15 to 30 grams are considered fatal. Treatment is conservative with intravenous fluids, electrolyte correction, and symptomatic treatment. Gastric lavage, alkaline diuresis, or hemodialysis can be initiated. Contraindications and Drug Interactions It is contraindicated in patients with a history of peptic ulceration and liver damage and in diabetics with low cardiac reserve. Treatment with aspirin has to be stopped at least one week prior to elective surgery. Patients with G6PD deficiency, when given in high doses, have an increased risk of hemolysis. In pregnant patients, it is associated with the risk of low birth weight babies, delayed or prolonged labor, risk of postpartum blood loss, and premature closure of ductus arteriosus. It may increase the toxicity of certain drugs like warfarin, naproxen, phenytoin, and methotrexate by preventing the plasma protein binding. Risk of bleeding increases when used with oral anticoagulants. It inhibits the renal tubular excretion of uric acid and methotrexate and blunts the diuretic action of furosemide and spironolactone. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.